Hello folks, welcome back. For I am the one. I'm the only. I am Hobo Tom. I'd like to thank everyone for their recent support. I could never under still can't believe. Thank you guys. You guys really made my day. I, I have over four hundred views for a fishing video. About two hundred views. For Bytoberfest, which is kind of normally where it is. Let me see one more thing. Let's see here. I know there were a couple title changes for the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. El Dio de Macho. So, I mean, I should check out how many people watch this, actually. Jeremy, those do really good. Oops, something went wrong. What the heck? Try. Oh wow, everything's up though. That's always a good sign. Yeah, yeah, 37 people checked out my Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory show. That's 203. That's pretty good. Oh wow, only three people have seen Dio Di Macho, and 15 people plus one comment. I've seen my Stoner's Pizza Joint Pizza Review. Again, that was that weird thing. I got that coupon in the mail. Honestly, a pizza for four dollars and twenty cents. That's the reason why I'm the one and only Hobo Tom. Enough about that. As you saw that little tease of a picture, it's time for well, not Crown Royal. I wish it was time for Crown Royal. Too early in the week for that. But time for Crown Jewel. Yes. So hit my music. Yep, these are my Crown Jewel. I even wrote down. Look how bad I am. Look at that. I even wrote down Crown Royal. Terrible. And that's kind of my other information. Because... Um, one very quick news and note before I get into my predictions. I will not be watching Crown Jewel. I probably will have some work commitment if I'm good and lucky. I think it's going to be 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Hey, listen. Never fault a man for making his money when he can make it as a runner. I actually did. Where did I put it now? Get a black long sleeve shirt that's going to be comfy for me. So that's the first thing I like. It's my comfort. If I have to be working from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., that's 13 hours. Let's see here. Guesstimate something here. Uh, let's see, utilities. All time thirteen. That's a hundred and twenty dollar day after tax. After taxes, cannot pass that up. Always take the money. One of the most important lessons I learned from any Vin Diesel movie was the Chronicles of Riddick: Take the money, tombs. Always. Now, let's get back some predictioning and guesswork here. Uh, there is going to be a pre again, 12 p.m. noon here on the East Coast. It's kind of a rough time. I would have already been two hours at work. Normally, if I wasn't working, that's about my wake-up time anyway for a Saturday. I don't know. So it's one of those things I have to get the old engine going to watch pro wrestling, especially at that hour. Hey, listen, six, seven o'clock. I'm rip roaring, ready to go. Twelve o'clock. I'm like, yep, I have to get into the groove of things. Every so often, I will. More so than not. Yeah, twelve is is, is no bueno for me. Because then I always have to have my wrestling beverage. Well. Not my wrestling beverage, but just regular cola and something to eat. It just makes it more enjoyable, and 12 is just kind of a weird hour. 
So let's see here. Let's start off with the pre-show. Pre-show is going to be Sami Zayn versus JD McDonough. I hate to tell you, JD McDonough, you're not winning. Sami Zayn's winning that match. And these are in no particular order because I know I forgot to add one in. Um, Io Sky versus Bianca Belair. At these crown jewels, they don't really change titles that often. So I don't. So Io Sky is gonna. I'll say this: Io Sky is gonna retain her belt. That's the safe way. Either she wins, gets DQ, gets counted out. Something screwy happens. So let's get real. They're doing the show in Saudi Arabia. The women are literally. Oh, that's gonna get interesting. Now that I think of it. The women are literally going to be covered from head to toe in a spandex shirt and wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. Eo Sky will win. That's what, that's, I'm good with that. John Cena versus Solo Sokoa. If, and I saw this because they're delaying the release of Dune from November to Dune Part 2. Which I will do a video review, a uh, video review on. Once I see it, I'm a huge Dune fan. I remember the original, the the garbage they produced for the Sci-Fi Channel. I kind of remember that too. Uh, definitely not the high point there, the Sci-Fi Channel. But yeah, um, John Cena's gonna win. He's still gonna be around, a thorn in the side, for the bloodline every so often. So yeah, John. Lol, John Cena wins. And let's see here. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins is going to win. This is going to further infuriate Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is going to turn heel. Give him some direction. Seth Rollins wins. I've heard some things on the old interweb. Let's say he might not retain his belt. I think he's going to keep... Because... Yeah, because Damien Priest... Wants the belt. It's too soon for that. Yeah, Seth Rollins is going to win. Damien Priest eventually is going to cash in, though. On Seth Rollins. That'll set up Cody... Versus Damien Priest. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I want to change that though. Or do I want to change that? Yeah, I'll keep that one. Hey, G Spot. Oh, come here. Ah, oh, the cowardly kitten. The hobo cat's here. You'll probably see her. Oh, there, there, there's her little black furry tail right there. I put a treat up there. Tantalizer. What was I saying now? Yeah, Seth Rollins wins. Uh, Cody Rhodes. Let's say Cody Rhodes versus Damien Priest. It's next. This was going to be my Stone Cold Lock. I changed that though. Cody Rhodes wins. Although I could see interference from the Judgment Day. Yeah, even then Cody, Cody Rhodes wins. That should be a good match. Let's see here. A match you could probably snooze through. It's going to be the women's five white. Five some. Yep. I said it. Female five some. <laughs> I just had a bad thought go through my head, but that's neither here nor there. You have Rhea Ripley, the champion. Actually, you know what? You can take a snooze through this match. You have the champion, Rhea Ripley, taking on Nia Jax versus Shayna Baszler versus Zoe Starks versus Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, by hook or by crook, Rhea Ripley gets the belt back. I'll say... Hmm... Zoe Stark will eat the pin. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be creative, I think. Shayna Baszler 
puts the rear naked choke onto Zoe Stark. And then Rhea Ripley covers, and then Zoe Stark does a typical kind of puts Shayna on her back before the referee, right before the re, the referee counts. Rhea Ripley then jumps on top of Zoe Stark's. I guess it went that way. Hey, at least I'm being creative in my booking ideas. Yeah, another reason why you should watch the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. Good booking. At least I think so. At least it makes sense. And then in my stone cold lock of the night, you have Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul is going to take the belt. I thought about this. Logan Paul is going to take the belt off of Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio can chill out for a while. But this then sets up a feud between Logan Paul, the newcomer, versus, yeah, L.A. Knight, yeah, for Survivor Series. That wouldn't be too bad. Or even Survivor Series or Royal Rumble. Either one. Eventually, LA Knight is going to get a belt. Probably, again, make that U.S. belt more like the IC belt. Raise it up. Make it the workman's belt. That actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we'll see if that happens, though. <laughs> a good idea and it happening are two different things. Then we'll have The Miz versus Gunther. This, I think, is going to be a sleeper. This is my match of the night. I think this is going to be surprisingly good. After this, The Miz takes some time off. He'll have to be at home so Maurice can, can rub his chest while she's... Yeah, that's it. But yeah, because yeah, Miz is going to need some time off for his chest to heal up after Gunther chops him bloody. The first time Mike Mazzano ever has the blade is he has to cut his chest because Gunther chopped him. That's a pretty... Listen, if you're going to just cut yourself... That's, that's a safe place to go, at least. No one will care. And he has a hot Canadian wife to take care of him. Why is he in wrestling? I wish I had a hot Canadian big blue bud wife. Well, that's neither here nor there, folks. And then, in the main event of the evening, you love. My tribal chief, the one who I acknowledge, the one who I am say, I am not worthy to watch wrestle. Roman Reigns versus, yeah, L.A. Knight. Roman Reigns is going to win. They're going to keep that belt, I think, for Cody Rhodes. That's what I think. L.A. Knight, he'll lose. He'll look great, though. Make no mistake about it. Roman Reigns, who did he put over years ago? Roman Reigns made someone look absolutely great a few years ago. It's probably more than a few years ago. But, yeah, that's neither here nor there. Roman Reigns, my tribal chief, your tribal chief, he retains the Undisputed Universal Championship. That's Crown Royal. Yep. I, again, I won't be watching it. Work beckons. I have 120 reasons. Take home. Not to watch it. That's all I need. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, Survivor Series is later this month. Let me check out something very quickly. I forget if... Oh, there we go.
See, don't you have something this month? Events. See, I mean, I don't care about London. Collision, no one cares about. Um, Duncan Shoe, what the hell is that? It's at Inglewood High School. Oh, that's in Cal. What's this? Full gear. Full gear November 18th. So that is what? I put my new pin up calendar. That is the week before Thanksgiving. So yeah. Yeah! Full gear. I'll probably watch that again, depending on work and stuff. That's at 4 p Oh, that's 4 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, that's about, sounds about right. Again, it all depends on work. I value my ability to work and paying bills.